What's up, guys? Coach Note 37 here. Um, part two of the streaming video is going to be the sidewalls. So what you need is a uh, your strung head or unstrung head. Get the top part done. And two pieces of string. Uh, I'm not sure how long it is. Probably like two, two and a half feet. But uh, yeah. So what you want to do is start off with your string. So you make a knot like that. But then what I do is I go through it the same way. So it looks like this. And you pull tight. I don't know why. I just I use my teeth a lot. But, uh, so you want to go through. Okay, let me fix it. So you're going to go through the first hole. Like this. Pull all the way through. Front of the mesh. So it looks like this. Then you can either go through the inside of the head, or you can go through the outside of the head. I usually go through the inside, but recently I'm going through the outside of the head. Uh, I'm not sure why, I've just been doing it. So you got one knot here. Here, I'll redo this and I'll explain how. So you got through the first part of the mesh, Let's go through the outside of the head. Make a loop, bring it through, then you gotta pull it nice and tight. Uh, there's that. Then you do the second one. Um, the head I'm stringing, the Proton Power, it only has I think like 12 or 13 sidewall holes, as opposed to a clutch which has 17 or 18. Um, so pocket placement for heads without multiple string holes can be difficult different and difficult um, I like medium pockets so when I have two of these I've come to a problem so you got oh, damn it I hate this blood thing you got one hole here but if I were to take this mesh and take it all the way down there the next one it's a pain in the ass so what I do is I double through so you go through the mesh like you normally would but instead of actually going through the hole, you do the exact same thing to the next piece of mesh. So it should look like that. So you go through that one and that one. Then what I like to do is right before where I want my pocket, I bring it through the head and I give this one a loop like this. Bring it through the mesh and then through this loop. And I pull it down tight and what this does is it locks it in place Please, there it is. You can't move it um, it's a trick Brendan Mundorf does for the Denver Outlaws and uh, whatever indoor team he plays but uh, that's how he normally strings his elbows and whatnot so you do that that's just one way you can do it you can keep doing the normal one back the mesh uh, outside the head pull it through. There's that one. Um, after stringing sticks for a long time and you know what you like, uh, switch it up. So like you can go, instead of going to the back of the mesh, you can go to the front of the mesh and go through the head. Uh, learn how to do interlocking. I'll do a video on one of those if someone wants me to. Yeah, so after I did the double, I did a single, single hole. And I like to do another double. Um, this is usually where the pocket placement comes in. So if you want a high pocket, do like one, a double, a uh, single, and then another double, and keep going. That's just a way to do it. Um, if you want a low pocket, you know, like maybe double down towards the bottom, then skip, and then double towards the bottom again. Yes, yeah, so there's that. So right now I've got single, single, double, single, double. Um, a nine diamond pocket, which is nine diamonds down, is shallow. It's good for getting the ball out quick. Uh, ten diamond pocket, you know, ten diamonds down the side, is what the average person would use, I guess you could say. Uh, gives them a nice bag, but also a good release. It's also what I do. And then eleven diamond pocket. Like I said, 11 diamonds down. 
that just gives you a huge bag. Uh, not usually legal, but you know, just just mess around with it. Then also a trick for when you have really pinched heads like the proton tire, and the ball gets stuck in the bottom. What you can do is go through the outside of the head, like I've been showing you. So you go through the outside of the head, and then you pull it down. What this does is it takes this knot instead of putting it towards the inside middle, it puts it on the outside. So yeah. So once you go all the way down the head, you, know, you get all your sidewall done, um, and you just tie it off from the last one or whichever hole you want to do. Uh, it's tied off, normal thing. You stick it through. Uh, that's what she said, funny. Stick it through, uh, tie a knot, and there. There is a completed sidewall. Um, I don't make the best streaming videos. As you can tell, the head is probably all the way over here, half the video. Um, I'll try to update them more and more as I go along. But, uh, yeah, just do that on the same side. Make sure it's even. Make sure you double on the same one. Single, double. Make sure you do the right thing on each side. And you should be able to get a nice formation of a pocket out of it. But uh, other than that, yeah. I'll do part two and three of this video too later today or soon. Um, so look out for those. And then if you have any questions, send me a I was going to say picture, but that's like a picture. Uh, send me a message over YouTube or whatever, and uh, I'll try to help you out.